not think I will be ending this Could you hold this tube for me and give it back to me when we're done? Mm -hmm. Perhaps pocket it? I don't have any pocket. Oh, it opens right up. I suppose this shall get us a bit of a It says welcome. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Okay. Judicial Council. Well, we just pick a random. <laughs> we just pick like so many to choose from. Apparently, they didn't need this for. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully all of my belongings will not come spilling out the back side of my uh, bag. Bureau of Purchase and Property. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, since it says to ring, uh, you might think of me as Bitcoin Gandhi, and I have a request regarding the policies of this bureau. And I would like to speak with someone who can represent that bureau. The whole bureau of purchase and property? Yes, anyone may, who wishes to speak for the bureau may speak with me, but I have some, uh, I have some requests to make. From the bureau of purchase and We attempted to go to the state house to, to raise our concerns, but it is locked. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. I think the state, the state house would be your best bet. Yes, yeah. we have already been there and have knocked, and uh, the building is locked with a warning on the front not to attempt to enter it. So we are here. All right, we do not have to make this very official. I will just say what I have to say. I am asking that those of you who work for this bureau reduce your level of cooperation, if any, with the central government of the United States, a rapacious institution which has recently arrested six of my compatriots. That's a lot. I object to the arrest of people for using Bitcoin and would like to ask that you remove your support from the central government in any way that you can as the Mahatma wished his people to do with India and I'm not sure Britain. We can do that as a state yeah, there's, uh, Unfortunately, government. there's no answers we can give you other than to direct you to your legislature through public officials. Which I am not able to reach because they are locked. I, I encourage you to continue to try. Yes, thank you. We may go back and do some more knocking. <laughs> okay. We thank you for at least speaking with us. Absolutely. I hope you have a great day. Best wishes to you. Purchase in property, who knows what that even means? Mm. You know, they have their own bureau of purchasing things. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, let's see if there are any other lights on. <laughs> you are interested in joining us tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Um, I may have some time tomorrow, yeah. We will be running a four bureaucracies, uh, visiting four bureaucracies at God Wills, uh, and these have been scheduled and announced. Uh, these will be on Pleasant, more on, along the Pleasant Street corridor in that giant state office complex. Is this, I don't know if it's kind of open. It's open a little bit. Three, four. <laughs> My stick key is not really for knocking. to intrude on them too much. Well, I have not. I suppose it is not much of an intrusion. Mm. 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 Just put our heads in. I think we have to 
recommendations or anything. I am on a civil disobedience march across the state and have marched to your building from Keene in order to make a request. In order to make a request, yes. Uh, I would like to request that you and all at your institution cease your cooperation, if any, with the central government of the United States. Have I have to be honest, that's not going to happen, but okay. Well, we know that it is not going to happen tomorrow, <laughs> and perhaps that you might not be the one to do it, but we can always ask. I think we just have a different opinion. Well, uh, is your opinion open to change regarding state cooperation with the central government? Uh, not at this time. <laughs> not at this time. No, we're, we're working to support the state government in everything. Well, I have a piece of information. I can help you with because I, I don't have time to have okay. a whole sure. you know, long conversation. Well, uh, there is something that's not going so well, and that is the federal government's practice of arresting people in New Hampshire for using Bitcoin. You have heard of the great Bitcoin arrest of March 16th? I'm not really aware of that, so honestly, I, I don't think I can have any so, conversation with you, so I'm not aware so of that. You're so All right, fair enough. What I appreciate is that you did have a conversation with me, which is more than I can say with a state house right now, which I've been knocking on for 10 minutes. <laughs> well, it's always locked away there, I think. <clears throat> All right, thank you much for your time. You may find out more at bitcoinyandy.net. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. It's quite spoiling to be in air conditioning, <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> Put the door back as the oh. better, okay. All right, yes, that is a good idea. Leave it just as we found it. Not object to that idea at all. All right. So tomorrow that you're going to be going to some uh, bureaucracies on Pleasant Street that are, I believe, state bureaucracies? Uh, that is correct. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, uh, the, the, the 100 Pleasant Street area, I believe, is a giant state complex. Yes, it is. Correct. Yes. Uh, and that, uh, that will be a place where I, that's a place where I've gone ahead and scheduled uh, some stops. Yeah, one thing that's interesting about that complex is, um, so there's the circuit court and the district court in New Hampshire, or actually the, uh, the like superior level and then the district level. Okay. And the superior level court has like this regular office that you can just go into and talk there to the receptionist. But there's actually a video from like eight or nine years ago now where myself and Ian go to the district court office, which is at that Pleasant Street complex. And you can't even get in. They called the police on us being there. Where exactly? Um, it's one of the buildings in the Pleasant Street complex. I presume that's oh. where the office still is. They might have since moved it. But when you try and talk to the, the district court office, they treated it as though, like, no, you can't be here at all. You need to leave. The cops are coming. District court. Yeah. State district court? Yeah. The that, and it was strange because the superior court offices are not like that at all. You want to pop in and try the second floor? Uh, sure, or if you, we have you're time. running out of time, probably, but I don't know. government? 
Well, we can do a bit more knocking and tell the police, so up I suppose. <coughs> I get for asking permission to ask a question. Hmm. Hello. Oh. I hope I am not disturbing. Uh, you may think of me as Bitcoin Gandhi, <coughs> and I am on a mission uh, walking across the state and visiting state bureaucracies to make a request. I would like to ask that um, you and your bureaucracy reduce your level of cooperation with the central government of the United States. I'm going to say thank you and I wish you well. Thank and you. I don't mean to be shutting the door on your face, but I'm going to shut the door. Okay? <laughs> it is a charming way to do it if it had to be done. <laughs> Are there is one matter that I should mention, and that is we do have a specific grievance we would like you to be aware of, and that is the arrest of Bitcoiners in New Hampshire by the federal government. That is what has brought us here today. Okay. You can find out more at freethecrypto6.com. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me down. Thank you for All your right. time. Take care. I have walked across New Hampshire in emulation of Mahatma Gandhi to make a request, not of you personally, but of all persons who work for the state government. We are asking that you reduce your level of cooperation with the central government. The reason for our concern is a recent series of federal raids against Bitcoiners in New Hampshire, which we believe is cause for secession. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Have a pleasant day. You too. Thank you. <clears throat> I think we've about exhausted all the open doors on this level. <laughs> all right. Well, we've also exhausted your time. And I assume these videos are starting to look a bit like one another. <clears throat> so. All right. I suppose it is time to uh, eject from this plane. Except that I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs>